Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his only true name is Yahweh Shai. I would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the Servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai camp out here in Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to go into temptation. All right. And, um, you know, one thing that you got to understand is that when you come into this truth, all right, you're going to go through a lot. All right. And, you know, I'm speaking for myself first and foremost, you know, when you first come into this thing, you know, everything is it seems easy at first. Like, oh, this is just a piece of cake, but it's not a piece of cake because later through time in your journey, you start going through all these different things. And, you know, you still got to endure through all those afflictions. All right. Because this isn't going to coming into this truth. This isn't going to be an easy, easy piece of cake. It's not. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. So we're going to get to the scriptures. So for you to be able to sustain in this truth, you know, and or for you to receive salvation, you got to endure through the afflictions. You got to endure through temptation. And each and every one of us individually have temptations, you know, temptation that we deal with. The Lord knows where to try us, each and every one of us individually, according to our own measure. So each and every one of us individually have different uh to, uh, obstacles that we go through in this truth all right this is Sirach 2 and 1 it says my son if thou will come to serve the lord and i i have said this to brothers um when, when i first directed them into the truth through the spirit i've told many of my guys in this thing you know you know the brothers that i have first directed to the truth you come into this thing you're gonna go through a lot all right you know to them at first it seems like i'm just talking but then when they really come into this thing they just, you know, start saying, yo, you wasn't lying. Yeah. When you come into this thing, the Lord has to try you. All right. The Lord has to try you because you're proclaiming to be a man of the Lord. So he's going to try you off camera and he's going to have you go through many different obstacles. It could be a divorce. It could be you losing your job, you losing your home, you losing your, your, your car, you losing a lot. But you still got to teach through all of that. All right. Somebody may come and stay your steal your catalytic converter in your fucking vehicle. You gonna go through a lot. I'm just naming carnal shit. But on the spiritual on the on the on the spiritual tip, you may have anxieties, depression, schizophrenia, agoraphobia. All right. You may have a fear in all these different things. All right. That's spiritual torment. All right. Those things that I'm saying, that's spiritual torment. Afraid of going outside. Afraid of being around millions of people. There's jakes that have that that have that um. That torment, you know, so, you know, it don't even have to be on a physical tip. It could be on a spiritual one. All right. The Lord knows where to try us individually according to our own measure. But you have to be able to pull through that and to endure it. I'm not going to say deal with it. All right. You got to be able to pull through that and to endure it. All right. We have to endure through these things. So this is Sirach 2 and 1. It says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, right, you come in to serve the Lord. You're coming to present yourself as a prophet, all right? You're going down to the camp of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. You're learning from those men. You're taking notes, all right? You're doing all those things. you coming to serve the Lord. It says, prepare thy soul for temptation. You got to be prepared for temptation. You got you to gotta be able to expect it when it comes your way. You can't get comfortable and think temptation isn't going to come your way. You got to be able to be able to expect that to come. You got to be prepared for it. All right. You got to be prepared for temptation. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. And I'm not just doing this lesson just to do it. I'm really pertaining it to myself first and foremost. You got to be prepared for temptation when it comes your way. And it can come at any time. It can even it, it can even happen at camp. All right. So you got to be prepared for that. This is Sirach 2 and 1. It says, my son, if thou will come to serve the Lord, you come in to serve the Lord. You're doing three videos every day. You setting up camp once a week. You're out there presenting yourself as a man of the Lord, as a prophet, 
Well, now the Lord has to try you off a camera. Okay, you're portray you're portraying to be this man that you're proclaiming to be on camera. Okay, you're doing my will. You're studying to show yourself approved. You're going down to camp. You're doing three videos every day. You're setting up camp once a week. You're out there. You're doing my works. So now I gotta try you. Let me try you here. Let me let me let me send Satan to bug your woman out. You got a woman. Let me send Satan to bug her out and see if you're still gonna teach. Let me see if I take your woman from you. If you're still gonna glorify me. Let me see if you lose your place. Let me see if you're still going to glorify me. Let me see if you lose this job, if you're still going to glorify me. Let me have this happen to you, that happen to you, because that's how the Lord works. All right? And we know that when you read the book of Job. Job went through a lot, but he was able to what? Sustain and endure through all of that and was rewarded double at the end. So now we're trying. We got to go through that. So like it for the rambling. So rock two and one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord... Right? You coming to serve the Lord. You're claiming, you're proclaiming to be a man of the Lord. You're proclaiming to be this prophet, right? On camera. Now the Lord is going to, he's going to try you. Now he's going to send Satan your way. And you can't get angry or upset when Satan comes your way. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost, because the Lord does send Satan after you. All right? Satan will come after you. He can hop on your woman. He can bug her ass out. You're arguing with her every day about the smallest shit. All right? You could be chilling, reading scriptures, praying, you know, or, or doing something. Your woman comes in there, just probably perfect, and just come in there and just start getting mad because there's a dish in a sink that she can fucking wash. But she's coming in there starting an argument and making a big deal about a dish. Shit like that. Shit like that happens. I'm not saying brothers going through this, but I'm just saying anything, you know. Or, or let's say if you have kids and you tell your daughter or tell your son, you know, not to do this, not to do that. And you and she hear you yelling at them or telling them something and she gets in it and starts starting to argue because you're telling your kid, you're disciplining your kid, telling your kid not to do something. These are the shit that brothers go through. I'm not saying that, um, you know, this has actually happened to individuals, but I'm just saying this is the shit. Small shit can turn into something big, but the Lord knows where to try us individually is where I'm getting to. I'm getting just giving examples out. You come in to serve the Lord. Be prepared for temptation when it comes your way. I'll read this one more time, Bible Kishah. We'll get to the, get another precept out. This is a rock two and one. It says, my son, if thou will come to serve the Lord, right? You come in to serve your Lord. You come in to portray. You're portraying yourself to be a prophet on camera. You're claiming to be a man of the Lord, right? Prepare thy soul for temptation. Temptation is going to come your way. And it can come at any time, any moment. It can come anytime. It can, it can even happen at camp. If you're going out on the highways and byways, all right? It, it can even come your way. But you can't let that, you can't let nothing stop you from glorifying the Lord. Mm -hmm. If the Lord makes it that he bugs your woman out and she leaves you because you're in the truth, you still got, you still supposed to teach. If you get kicked out of a camp, you still got to teach. All right. You still got to work out your own salvation at the end of the day. This is all, this is all of the trying of your faith. So rock two and five. It says, for gold is tried in the fire. Gold is tried in the fire. It says, and, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Because each and every one of us have our infirmities of adversities individually. Like I said, it, we got different obstacles in this truth. All right. And whatever it is, it don't even have to be physically. It could be spiritually. You know, it could be mentally and spiritually. So you got to be able to endure temptation and you sh you should be praying to the lord asking the lord to deliver you out of that situation as well you want to ask the lord to deliver you out of those situations all right and i'm speaking for myself first and foremost because when you come into this thing you will be tried by the lord the lord will try you and he will send satan after you he will send satan after you you can't get angry or upset and i'm speaking for myself man i'm speaking for myself i'm speaking for myself first and foremost you can't get angry or upset when the Lord sends Satan after you, you got to be able to endure those afflictions. You can't run away from them. You got to ask the Lord to, to deliver you out of those situations. If you're proclaiming to be a man of the Lord and you're doing lessons and you're setting up camp, you got to pray to the Lord and ask the Lord to deliver you out of situations. You can't run away from those situations because it's just going to keep coming. You got the Lord is trying you. All right. The Lord is trying you. And you got to pray to the Lord and ask the Lord to deliver you out of those situations, man. So rock two and five. It says, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversities. And each and every one of us individually is going through different infirmities of, of, of adversities. We're going through different situations, different scenarios. 
All right, brothers, like I said, it don't have to be on a, on a physical tip. You got brothers that got anxieties. You got brothers that got panic attacks, anxieties, depression, agoraphobia, afraid of going outside. You got Jakes that's afraid of being around a lot of people. You got Jakes that got all these different phobias and all these mental things that they dealing with mentally. Brothers dealing with things mentally. That's spiritual torment. That's torment. All right? That's torment. But you got to pray to the Lord and you got to ask the Lord to deliver you out of those situations, though. This is second. This is Second Timothy two and three. It says, "Thou therefore endure hardness." Right. We have to endure hardness, and we got to be prepared when temptation comes our way. You got to be prepared. You got to expect it. You got to be prepared for it. All right. It says, "Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach." Right. We got to endure hardness. You got to endure individually. All right. If regardless if you're in a camp or not. You individually got to endure hardness because the Lord, the Lord tries us accordingly to our own measure individually. So either, even if you're in a camp or not, you still got to endure through temptation. You got to endure through that because you have your own. The Lord knows where to try us. We have our own obstacles that we got to go through. All right. And just because you're under brothers, that don't mean that, you know, you're not going to have temptation come your way because it's still going to come your way. It don't matter about that. The Lord going to try you individually. That's how the Lord works. He works in perfect balance, man. All right. This is James. I mean, it's first second. It's like, yeah. This is second Timothy two and three. It says, thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Verse four, it says, no man that wharf entangling himself with the affairs of this life. See, of the affairs of this life. That he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Because you didn't choose the Lord. The Lord chose you. Alright. The Lord called you. The Lord chose you into this thing. So now that you came into this thing. Now you know you're an Israelite. Now you're knowing the, 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 the requirements of your purpose of being in this truth. What is to be. And you're doing those things. Now the Lord has to try you. He's going to see if he, if, he, if he takes this and that from you or you lose this, you lose that. Or are you going to continually teach? Are you still going to continually go out and present your body as a living sacrifice? Are you going to continually do the will of the Lord? You losing your woman. You was with this woman. You really loved her. You was with her for fucking 10 years coming into the truth. She came into the truth with you. But then later through time, she starts fucking bugging out. Then you wind up losing your woman. Then you wind up losing your job. Then you wind up losing this and losing that losing this. Are you still going to continually glorify the Lord? That's what matters. That's what that's what matters, and that's when it gets real. When those no, when those situations happen to you on a physical tip, that's when that shit get real. But then on the other end, you got brothers that go through anxieties. That's torment. That's why scriptures say, "Give me any plague, give me any plague, but the plague of the mind." That's that's a scary thing to have is anxieties. That's a, that's torment. That's mental torment. All right, that's mental torment. If you have anxiety, panic attacks, depression, that's torment, man. That's torment. That is torment. That's torment, man. That shit is, that's a scary situation to be in, man. That's why you got to ask the Lord to, you got to be praying. The scriptures say pray without ceasing. You got to pray to the Lord, man. Ask the Lord to deliver you out of situation. Those are spirits fucking tormenting, tormenting you, man. You know? It says no man that wharf entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, right? That he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. And that's what it's all about. The Lord chosen you to be a soldier, all right? And you got to you gotta show yourself worthy in the eyes of the Lord, and you got to endure hardness, all right? You can't get angry or upset when the Lord sends Satan your way, because he will do that, all right? We see that in the book of Job. If you read the book of Job, the, the, Lord, the Lord allowed Satan to mess with him. But Job pulled through it and made it to the end and was awarded double. So we got to go through that. We have to go through, we have to go through that. All right. And you can't get angry or upset. And I'm speaking for myself. First and foremost, James one and two, it says, my brother count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. Yeah. Count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. Why? Because it lets you know that the Lord is dealing with you, because if you're not going through nothing, the Lord ain't dealing with you. If you're not going through nothing, you've been in this truth over 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 eight, nine years and you ain't ever went through no, nothing. Everything is just good. Everything is just fantastic. You really want to sit back and question and think to yourself, is the Lord really dealing with me? Because the scriptures say the Lord dealeth, the Lord chastises who he loves. And if the Lord is dealing with you, you're going to be going through a lot in the truth. You know, and it don't have to be physically. It can even be spiritually, you know. 
Because that's how the Lord works. The Lord knows where the Lord knows our weaknesses. He knows where to try us individually. The Lord does that. That's the Lord. Our Lord works in perfect balance. All right. James one and two. My brother encountered all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. Right. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith. And that's what temptation is all about. You being tried on your faith because you think you think the temptation that we're dealing with here is fucking hard. It's going to be way harder when Jacob trouble come. That's going to be way challenging because you really going to be tried on your faith, man. And you're going to have to show yourself worthy in the eyes of the Lord. Are you going to bow down to this system or are you going to die in righteousness? Because that's what's going to come in Jacob trouble. Jacob trouble going to be way harder, way, way fucking vexing than this shit. We think this shit is vexing. This ain't going to be shit compared to Jacob trouble. You know, it says knowing this, that the trying of your faith, your faith, you're going to be tried on your faith individually. All right. Work with patience. And that word patience, it goes into the Greek word, upamine, which means consistency or endurance. So you got to be consistent in this truth. No matter what is thrown at you, you still have to continually teach and glorify the Lord. You can't stop. You can't allow nothing to stop you from glorifying your Haobashim Hashai. You still continually have to teach. All right. This is 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. It says, There have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh Bashimashai is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Right? Because the Lord is never going to give you too much that you can't handle, but He's going to give you just enough to try you. All right? When we look at Father Abraham, the Lord tried him. The Lord tried him on what? His, the Lord tried him on his, on his obedience. The Lord commanded him to what? To kill Isaac, sacrifice Isaac. As he was getting ready to sacrifice Isaac, and he was getting ready to kill his son, the Lord put a lamb out there. The Lord tried him. Father Abraham was tried, man. Father Abraham was tried, you know. They were all tried, man. They were tried on a faith, all right? The Lord put them, the Lord tried them. So the Lord's going to do that with us. He's going to put us in different scenarios, different temptations, different obstacles, all right? I don't know what your temptation is, but just be prepared to expect it. I don't know. I don't know your temptation. I don't know. Every, I don't know. Every, I don't know everyone's temptation. I don't know that. The Lord knows, though. He knows where to try each and every one of us individually when it comes to temptation. And you can't get angry or upset. You got you to gotta be able to expect that shit. When it comes, it comes. You, gotta, you want to expect it and be prepared for it than to get comfortable and think nothing's going to come your way. Because if you do that, then when it comes your way, you're going to fucking fall apart. You don't, you don't want to. You, you want to be prepared for that shit. All right. And one way to one way to be prepared is constantly reading scriptures and praying to the Lord, man. So when it comes your way, you won't get angry or upset. That's the best way to, to do it. It says, but will with temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear. Right. So the Lord is never going to give you too much that you can't handle, but he's going to give you just enough to try you. And that's how our power works. That's how the Lord works. All right. Now let me get this out because, you know, you got people that don't believe this. But the Lord puts you through different things. The Lord chastises and put us through different scenarios of temptation, different obstacles in this truth because he loves us and he's dealing with us. All right. If the Lord ain't dealing with you, you're not you're not going through nothing. Then obviously the Lord ain't dealing with you. Hebrews 12 and 6. It says for whom the Lord loveth. Look who the Lord loveth. Right. He chastiseth. Right. It says and scourgeth every son who he receiveth. Right. So when you come into this thing. You speak in the name of the Lord. You're you're doing three videos a day. You setting up camp once a week. You study yourself approved. You you're doing all the things that the Lord is acquiring you to do. The Lord is pleased with that. But now the Lord wants to try you. He's gonna send Satan to mess with you to see if you're still gonna continually glorify Him. That's how the Lord works. All right. And if you're not built to endure temptation, then maybe you're not of the elect. Maybe you were just the called and not the chosen. Because you you don't want to be the called. You want to be the chosen, man. All right. So if you ain't, if you a Jake that can't handle temptation and you wind up falling out, then you wasn't of the elect to begin with. You was just the called and not the chosen. Because you have to endure through your afflictions, your temptations. You can't run away from them. All right? You can't run away from them. All right? You can't. You got you got you gotta endure through them. All right. This is Hebrews 12 and 6. It says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chastiseth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. So you're gonna go through, you're gonna go through temptation. You're going to go through temptation. You're going to go through those infirmities and adversities. There's no escaping that. As long as you're in this truth, you're going to keep going through it. All right? And even if you're not in the truth, you're still going to go through them because you're under the curses. All right? So you got to understand that too. Verse 7, it says, If ye endure, see, if ye endure chastising, right? 
It says Yahweh Bashem Hashai dealeth with you as with son. So if you going, if you endure through chast, if you endure through those temptations, you endure through those temptation afflictions, those torments. You endure through those. The Lord is dealing with you. The Lord, obviously, the Lord is dealing with you because we wouldn't be able to handle temptation without the Lord. We would fucking probably fall out of truth. It says, it says, if you endure chastising, Yahweh Bashem Hashai dealeth with you with as with sons. It says, for what son is he whom the father chastised not? Verse 8, but if you be without chastisement, see, if you're without chastisement, the Lord doesn't put you through anything. Everything is just totally going good your way. Everything is just blessing. Everything is just awesome. Everything is just fantastic. And obviously, the Lord isn't dealing with you. It says, but if ye be without chastisement, whereof, it says, all our partakers, that ye are bastards and not sons. The Lord ain't dealing with you. If you're not going through nothing, and you've been in this truth way past 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 years, 10 years, and you ain't went through no obstacle of temptation whatsoever, nothing, everything's just been great for me, man. Everything been a piece of cake, then you should be sitting and thinking if the Lord is dealing with you. Because he's not, obviously he ain't dealing with you if you're not going through nothing. All right? Because we're number one, we're under the curses. So there's, there's no avoiding temptation. It's going to come your way. There's no, there's no, there's no avoiding that. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. There's no avoiding that. That's going to come your way automatically. Verse 9, it says, for more, it says, furthermore, it says, we have had, we have had fathers of the flesh, which corrected us, which we did. We have fathers of the flesh that corrected us. I have a father, you know, he disciplined me, you know, put me in order, had me, you know, we raised by our parents. They put us, you know, they put us in order. My father put me in order a lot because he was in the military. That man was in a, he was a Marine. So my dad didn't take no shit. You know, you had to do what he say do or you, you was getting punished automatically. My dad was not playing that shit. It says, read it from the top. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, which we did. We have, I have fathers. I had a father. My father didn't play no shit. That man, man, he put me in order. And the water, how about she my shy for that? It says, and we gave them reverence, right? Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of of spirits and live right talking about the heavenly father Yahweh. so the lord is going to put us through chastising the lord does that to get us right to get us in order but we got we got to go through temptation we got to go through different scenarios in this truth each and every one of us individually have our own path of temptation that we got to deal with and you can't run with that you can't you can't run away from that and i'm speaking for myself first and foremost you have to endure through temptation now i'm not talking like i'm experienced i'm experiencing some things you know, I've been this truth seven years. I'm experiencing some things. I'm not experienced as more more than any other brother out there. But I'm just speaking on my behalf of the things I've been through in these past seven years. You know, I don't like talking about my infirmities, but that shit that shit is no joke, man. That shit is no for me and my infirmities and temptation that I've been through these past seven years. That shit that shit is that shit is no fucking joke, man. That shit is that shit is is really fucking torment. It's torment, man. It's really fucking torment, man. And I'm going to get this last precept and I'll end it with this. This is Hebrews 11 and 37. It says they were stoned. Talking about the apostles. They were stoned. All right. The apostles of Yahweh Shai. They were stoned. Right. It says they were strong asunder. They were tempted. They were tempted. It says were slain with the sword. Yep. You have prophets that were beheaded. They were killed for the truth sake. Yes. They were beheaded. It says they wandered about in, in sheepskins and goatskins. Being destitute, afflicted, and tormented. And that's what we go through right now. Man, we're fucking tormented in this truth. For example, you got brothers that do, you know, even for myself, we did videos where you, you know, you put so much in the spirit to do that video and, and it gets taken down. You get a strike for it. You know, or, you know, you got brothers that's that's going through mental issues, man, anxieties, panic attacks, etc. man. We fucking tormented in this truth. We're afflicted. We're tormented. We're dealing with people demonizing us. We deal with scoffers. We deal with fucking bug outs. Mainly the elders of the Great Millstone. Dealing with people lying on you, bearing false witness on you, saying you anti Semitic. We're, we're afflicted here. We go through fucking torment. We're tormented here. We get false accusations against us. We fucking tormented. That's all temptation, man. That's all fucking temptation, man. You know? But we gotta, we gotta, through all this that, that we got thrown at us that we're dealing with on a daily basis in these mortal bodies, we gotta endure through the shit. You know, so we can be able to receive that kingdom, man. So, hey, man, you know, Lord willing is less than satisfying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh. Bashim Yashai, Bashim Yahweh Kakudash. And actually, I forgot. I'm going to get one more precept out. So, lock you on that. Let me get this precept out. Because um, this just hit my spirit just now. Um, 
Now James 5 and uh, 10, and I'm read to 11, and then I'll end it. Salakia. Salakia on that. <clears throat> we'll end it right here. This is the precept I should have got out. This is James 5 and 10. It says, Take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord, right? For an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. And these are the men of the Lord, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, man, because they speak in the name of the Lord. All right, for they are an example of suffering. They go through a lot. These the elders, Paul's great millstone, been through a lot, and it's fucking true. All right, they've been they've been in this true for what thirty five plus years, 30, 35, 34 plus years, man. Probably more than that, longer than that. But they're a perfect example. All right, Yahweh Shai is a perfect example first and foremost. But the elders, Paul's great millstone, they are a perfect example. They've been through a lot. They're experienced. Those men are experienced men. James 5 and 10, it says, take my brethren, the prophets. And who are our prophets? Right? Who, are, who are the prophets right now in this modern time? The elders and apostles of Great Millstone. All right, on down. All right. It says, take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord, of Yahweh for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. And the elders and apostles of Great Millstone are in that spirit every fucking day. They're dealing with afflictions. They're suffering. And they're dealing with, and they're dealing with torment. All right. And the men are patient. Those are faithful, devout men, man. All right. The Lord is dealing with those men on down to the sincere brothers like ourselves, man. We're dealing with the suffering, afflictions and the patient. We're waiting on the Lord patiently to come back. Verse 11, it says, behold, we count them happy, which endure. And we are happy because we're in the Lord is dealing with us. He's making sure we sustain it through these afflictions and torments and shit that we're dealing with on a daily basis. It says, you have heard of the patience of Job, right? Because Job went through a lot. He went through a lot. The Lord allowed Satan to mess with Job. And Job was a perfect and upright man. He didn't do no wickedness. He was a perfect and upright man. And the Lord allowed Satan to mess with him. But he was tried on his faith. And he endured through it. And he was awarded double. It says, And have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. And all right, the Lord is very merciful, man. You know, we have to go through temptation. All right? When you in this truth, you're going to go through temptation. There's no avoiding it. And you can't get angry or upset when it comes your way. So, hey, Lord, one this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahashai, Bahashim Yahashim Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother, Mashiach Arazaka, from the servants of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. So, hey, man, you can't get angry or upset when temptation comes your way. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.